The cone is our first volume to draw. When I look at the cone from above, I see it as a circle. Yes, the cone is complete circle from above. If we look at the cone side by side, we see it as a triangle. The next volume used in the the next volume used in the, the drawing is a, a cylinder. You know that if we rotate a rectangle around the center axis of 316 degrees, it becomes a cylinder. The cylinder is seen from the top in a circular ellipses and short line rectangles. The third volume I will introduce is a cube. Look, the cube is a square in all directions, whether from the top, from the left, or from the right. If we look at the cube from the corner, we see all three surfaces, top, right, and left. There are six squares in the cube. We see all the houses, luggage, refrigerators, and many other things like cubes. A table or a chair or a book is also cubes. There is a dot that turns into a line and that uh, line turns into a surface and then into volume and is uh, made into a cube. The fourth volume is a sphere which is used as a cube or cylinder for drawing. These four volumes, the sphere, the cylinder, cube, and the cone, help us to visualize the different object in volume. Everything you see around you must have four volumes. Example by placing the cone on the cylinder. I make a pencil. Can you see it? Oh, look! These two volumes of cones and cylinders are exactly like pencils. The top of the pencil is conical and the body is cylindrical. All pencils contain these two dimensional volumes. In another example, I make a human body with two different volumes, a cylinder and a sphere. Wow! How great! Look! This is a human head and the cylinder is human body. Now let's make a bird by adding a cone. The cone is the tip of the bird and the cylinder is the bird's neck. We can put the cube in place of the bird's head. And uh, the cylinder is place of the bird's neck.